Welcome back, everyone. My next guest is also a newbie with me. I have with me Cheryl Lynn Berry, and she's the owner of Two Share Unique Boutique. Welcome to the show. Uh, get right up on this mic because I want everybody to hear you. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. We're live on Facebook to so everybody. Hi out there. Like us and follow us. We're going to be sharing the show in a little while. I want to talk about your, your store. Tell me about it. Okay. We have a store in downtown, historic downtown Glendale. It's called Two Share Unique Boutique. And we have everything from handcrafted, vintage, new, antique, uh, thrift store type, you name it. We have a little bit of everything. And uh, we have 49 different vendors inside of our store. And everybody is um, part of our uh, collaboration with Two Share Foundation which works with law enforcement canine units. So what do you do with that? That's pretty cool. I heard you a little bit talking about the, the foundation. The foundation The foundation works with the law enforcement canines. Uh, five years ago, we vested all six of Glendale's canines because the officers are not given a very good allowance for their own ballistic vests. And so naturally the dogs are not included at all. So we put uh, six vests on the six canines at $2,500 each. So we raised wow, all the money. Wow, I had no money. idea those vests cost $2,500. Well, well even, they should. They're worth a lot yeah. of money. And we did it, do it in honor of Ronan, who was shot and killed on his first and last takedown in June of 2013. Hmm. And uh, had he had a ballistic vest, there's a good chance he could have survived it. And so that's what we do. We also work with them if they need medical bills or anything like that that needs to be taken care of. We do that, but our main interest is working with vests. For the vests, you know, I think people don't even realize that. You know, um, how many people even know that they do wear them? Right, and you know, a lot of the dogs don't wear them. A lot of the handlers don't like to have the vests on the dogs. Why? Due, due to the fact that they feel it impedes the dog's ability to run, to get into tighter spots, and that kind of stuff. But our guys have figured out that it's better to have them than to lose a dog. So, you know, a dog runs roughly about $12,000 to purchase, then they have another six to $8,000 in training, and then they have the uh, training where they meet up with their uh, handler, and then the handler and them work together. So by the time they're done, they have about 20, 25,000 invested in a dog. And for one shot, a vest is well worth the protection. Sure. But city budgets are not set up to handle vesting the dogs because they barely vest the cops. So they don't? The cops get an allowance usually of about a thousand dollars and if they want something more uh, sturdy and stable then it's up to the officer to fund the rest of their own vests. Now um, I know that your website is under construction right now uh, with the boutique, when they come in, does the money, how does it work where that money does it go to the foundation? How does that work? Okay, we have, a, right at the front of our store, we have the uh, section that is Two Shares section, Two Share Foundation section. So everything that's purchased in that area goes back to the dogs. Then we do different fundraisers or the vendors will donate into that area of the store and anything that's sold in that area goes back to the foundation. Two weeks, three weeks ago, we were at the canine trials and we also sponsored a team at the canine trials that otherwise wouldn't be able to go to the trials and compete with their dogs to see who the top dog was gonna be. Now you're located at 58th Avenue in Glendale, right in the heart of uh, the historic downtown Glendale. And basically you've told me that your boutique has a little bit of everything. It has a little bit of everything. We have a lot of handmade stuff. We have uh, motorcycle monkey coffee. If you guys wait are, a minute, what is that? <laughs> uh, motorcycle guys, monkey. Motorcycle monkey coffee. I, what is it? Why don't you bring me some? It's based out of San Diego, and uh, we have the one pound bags in the store, and the um, it is a, a charity thing through the owner of motorcycle monkey and. San Diego. So anything we purchase from him then goes to a, uh, oh, I'm not exactly sure, but it's a Indonesian tribe and it is their sole support to raise these coffee beans. And this coffee is so good that you can 
uh, taste the flavors, and there's no bitterness. And our best I'm kind of upset. Our best coffee is called Drunk Monkey, and the Drunk Monkey is a whiskey. Well, that's why we have the PI attorney here a little bit earlier. Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So you can taste all four of the flavors, the coffee, the vanilla, the caramel, and the whiskey within that. And so there is, it, that, it has whiskey in it? It's brewed in whiskey, but of course when it's roasted, it's not. Right. And you can't, and they're not allowed. So you home. carry that. What we else? We carry that. Uh, we also have. All uh, four flavors? I was wondering. Yeah. Okay, just checking. <laughs> we have, there's 16 different flavors. And we have all 16 oh, flavors. Oh, all 16. Uh-huh. And then we have um, the Spicery Tavern, which is a barbecue sauce place. We have a brand new vendor. It's called the Chocolate Nugget. So we have chocolate in the store. We have Bella's Candies, which is a candy, uh, freeze-dried candy. Your candy will last 25 years on the shelf. And the joke is it won't even last 25 hours in my house, let alone 25 years. And then we have a lot of handmade boutique things for babies, for kids, for dogs. Uh, we have gift ideas that are handmade, that are purchased. Uh, we have one lady that makes uh, hair bows for dogs. And so everybody can have their little How dogs. How come you have to have a different, like special hair bow for a dog? Well, because it, they're t tiny and they have little crowns on them and they just are perfect for a little So dog. let me tell you, when I hear that you say that your name of your store is To Share Unique Boutique, you really mean unique. Yes. And if you're looking for this Motorcycle Monkey Coffee, they have it. They have all 16 flavors. Uh, they also have uh, some other unique items as well. Uh, I love the idea that you have that uh, foundation area where anything that goes to mm -hmm. our uh, canine units to get their vests, so they should all have them. Everybody should be wearing them. Right. All those dogs and yeah. people. And that our work biggest for us. seller for the foundation is uh, crochet top towel, kitchen towels. So it used to be a, a thing a long time ago. Everybody's I didn't know they were back. They're not. I make them all the time. Uh, I usually make between. Of course, they're the biggest seller then. 40 to 60 of them a week. Wow. Uh, we you go make through 40 or 60 a week? Yeah. We go through anywhere from 80 to 120 a month. No wonder you were late. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, huh? Yeah. So as it's kind of funny because we're doing this on the fly. I have I have nothing in front of me here. I know not that much about, but it's really cute and it's great to meet you and have you on the show. And I'm excited about learning more about it. I wish your website was up because it would be fun to know about it. Our website should... Well, our website is connected with uh, our new point of sale uh, equipment that we just got installed on Sunday. And so the website should be up probably the first part of June. And uh, it will have every single thing that is in the store is on that website because we've had to take a picture of the 47,000 items in the store. And we have to upload them. And so we will also have an e-commerce site with the website. That's really cool. Again, that will be at the time when it's up in a couple of few weeks is to share, and it's the number two, yes. share unique boutique. Uh, it's a gift boutique, and they got so many things in there that's a plethora of things that are different and unique and great, and all of it's fun, and it's uh, some of it is uh, uh, what I would say cheap and cheerful, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. Some of the different things like the Motorcycle Monkey Coffee, which I can't wait to find out what that's more about. <laughs> Come on uh, down. <laughs> and they're located at 58th Avenue and Glendale in the heart of historic downtown Glendale. How long have you been there? We opened up in the middle of the pandemic. We opened up the 1st of July. You know, I remember you telling me that, you know, and look at how busy you are. And oh, you especially with busy. the crocheting. How many crocheted uh, towels do you do? Uh, 40 to 60 a week. How big are they? They're, they're regular kitchen towels. You right. cut them in half and then you sew the top and then you crochet the top. If to you're looking to have over the done, oven or the refrigerator. I'm telling you, you sound like an awesome person. <laughs> you sound like you're super busy, but you love what you do. Yeah. And again, tell them really quickly about the foundation. About the Dev Foundation. Foundation is called Two Share Foundation, and it works with law enforcement canine units and anything that the canine units need. Uh, we specialize in opting to purchase vests for the dogs. 
so that they're protected when they go after the bad guy. You can check them out. They're at 58th, 58th I'll get it out, 58th <laughs> Avenue in Glendale, in the heart of historic downtown Glendale. They have so many unique items. It's a great place to shop as well as it's going to go to a good cause. You could call them at 623-764-7701. I want the